first race of the afternoon. Firmly on the start line and away. We head towards a great afternoon's entertainment. It's the 250cc solo boys away first and Richie Knight was the first man past the commentary box in the first race of the afternoon. Richie Knight being hotly pursued there by Keith Richards. Knight taking a very tight line around that turn and Keith Richards trying to go around the outside but uh, as Richie Knight goes wide Keith Richards pulls up on the inside but it's really really sticky going here this afternoon that's Richie Knight then from Keith Richards from Terry Howe Knight takes the wider line around there trying to find some grass for some extra grip. Crosses the line at half distance. So ahead of Keith Richards, right in a good second spot then. Terry Howe. Mark Swapper. It's already somebody's pushing the line. problems there. I think it's Nick White. So Richie Knight now taking his goggles off. Starts his last lap ahead of Keith Richards. Still holding a good second position. And Terry Howe in third and Mark Swapper in fourth. Only four riders remaining. But the two nice leather, leather clad lads in the centre of the track. They won't be so leather looking after their first race of the afternoon. they got some cleaning to do tonight. So as Richie Knight then comes round, a very brave man wins the first race of the afternoon. A win for number 229, Richie Knight. In second place there, 143, Keith Richards. Third place going to number 32, Terry Howe. And fourth place to number 157, Mark Swaffer. Coming up to take the checkered flag now. Race two underway and down the first straight they go. Good start this time, number 76, John Dormer, followed by 44, Dean Cammy, and then Alan Carmen. We have Alan Dan bringing up the rear. And Dean Cammy on the on the inside, cuts the inside grass as he goes. That's Dean Camion then from Stephen Hines, from John Dorman. And Alan Carman. With Alan Dan now bring up the We'll get rather spread out in these wet conditions. Nobody wants to ride off the back wheel of anybody. Getting covered in all that stuff. That funny stuff being thrown up off the ground. But look at Dean Camier, he's really got the bit between his teeth this afternoon. He's after his first national win. Stephen Hines holding a good second spot, and then John Dormer in third. Then Alan Carman. And Alan Dan. Remaining unchanged as they carry on through this race. So Dean Cameron in full flight this time trying the wide line. He's determined to find the best part of this circuit. As he starts his last lap, he's well clear of second place man Stephen Hines. Then John Dormer in third. And Alan Carman. I can assure you those riders can see absolutely nothing at all. Take the chequered flag, and that's a win for number 44, Dean Camion. 
in second place, number 20, Alan Dan. Sorry, huh? <laughs> Alan Dan's been lapped. Sorry about that. I was fast asleep at that moment in time. Stephen Hines gets second, John Dorman third, Alan Carmen fourth. Alan Dan in fifth place. Excuse me, going quiet in between races, but we're trying to eat one of those fantastic grass track burgers. Once again this week, dust free. Dust free burgers available here at the GTSA's Castlefield Podium Circuit. Oh, <laughs> Left hand side car's underway then, it's race number three in your program. That's young Tommy Penfold. In second place, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Followed by the Patchels in third place. And then it's like Nick Gillen. Billy Penfold goes up the inside of Tommy Penfold there. Philip Davis gets a late start. So round the turn they come and Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw now out in front. With Tommy Penfold there. Look at that mudfly at the back of those bikes. One, two, three. 
Dave Penfold Jr. and Keith Miles. From Ernie Penfold and Jim Penfold Jr. Then Tommy Penfold. Sawyer, Tony, Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer. In fourth place, 174, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. And in fifth place, 38, Richard Brown and Chris Berwick. No sixth or seventh finishes, but the winner's time, 2 minutes, 04.03. Fractionally faster than Bill Penfold's race three time. Well, I thought Ernie Penfold's machine had gone slightly off song there on that last lap, and certainly they're having to push it back into the pits at the moment. But race five is on the line and underway, and this one non-starter, 108, Bob Miles. 41 then, John O'Donnell scorches into the lead, ahead of the Patchels there. Terry and Luke Patchell in second place, then John Fish and Gary Moore in third. close out of that first turn and uh, looks like the patch was going a little bit wide there and Duncan, uh, John Fish coming up on the inside to take the lead so it's John Fish from Terry Patchell from John O'Donnell from John Arnott As he comes around there very fast indeed, and Terry and Luke Patchell drift a little bit wide. John Fish and Gary Moore then, Terry and Luke Patchell, then John Arnott and Russell Steele, then Brian and Clive Holland, and Billy Penfold and Carly Bell. The swarm we lost one there somewhere. Circuit. Last lap flag goes and it's 173. John Fish and Gary Moore from Terry and Luke Pasha number 188 in second spot. Then John Arnott. Then Russell Steele. Then Brian and Clive Holland. Then Billy Penfold and Carly Bell. That's a win for John Fish and Gary Moore. Look at the battle coming up here for second. John Arnold just holds on to that with Russell Steele in the chair. Then Terry and Luke Patchell got in third place. Another big battle coming up to the line now. Who's going to get this one? Very tight indeed there. It looked just like Billy Penfold and Carly Bell ahead of Brian and Clive Holland. John O'Donnell coming up just to get the points. Point 06. 
From the top quickly, 173, 251, 188, 223, 27, 41, 2 minutes, 03. Point oh six. Going on now to race six, the 350cc solos, first outing of the afternoon. Look how clean and shiny those bikes look now. Look again in two minutes' time. It's a lot easier. Oh, it's not well, the tape's going her away. Down towards that first straight they go. Like number 68, Alan Farmer, that took the early lead there with Jonathan Duke in second place. Seventeen. 
Dave Steer and Alan Carr, you've had 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pinnock, 22, Ian Aram and Ian Rowan, then number 12, Tim Bennett and Adam Cooper Smith. Pete Watkins and Lee Packer. Matthew Lewis and Doug Norris then bring up the rear. So the checkered flag to fall this time, and that's a brave ride there for number 151, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall. From number 17, Dave Steer and Alan Cave in second, then Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock in third. Ian Aram and Ian Rowan take fourth. Tim Bennett and Adam Cooper Smith. Five names over the line. That certainly looks like Pete Watkins. Pete Watkins and Lee Packham. And Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris completing race distance. Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock in fourth place, 22. Ian Aram and Ian Rowan. In fifth place, number 12, Tim Bennett Adam Cooper Smith. In sixth place, 25, Pete Watkins and Lee Packham. In seventh place, number 37, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris. The winner's time, 1 minute 50.22. We'll give it to you again if I have time, but this is the result of race six, the 350 solos. The win for number 68. In second place, 175. In third, 114. In fourth, 66. In fifth, 139. In sixth, 26. In seventh, 118. In eighth, 336. In ninth, 20. And tenth, number 25. The winner's time, 1 minute 52.5. Eight. As they come around that first turn, very fast indeed. That looks like Rob Wilson and they got a red flag up. Red flag and Rob Wilson and Vince Jones were in the lead there. Stephen Turner and uh, Tony Baseby in a good second place. But it's all back to the start line to do it again. Somebody got left behind. Whilst they do that then, let's get back into race number six, race nine. Race seven again then, race seven again, just to get your program right up to date. 151, 17, 55, 22, 12, 25, and 37. One minute 50.22. On now to race number eight, non-starters are number 13, John Halsey, and 39, Shane Baker. Additional runners, one, two, four, George Penfold, and two, Neville Penfold. But it looks like Rob Wilson and Vince Jones that are in the lead at the moment, so that's Rob Wilson and Vince Jones leading. Second place, well, that was very close there, but Neville Penfold certainly there in third. So, very, very fast and furious, and we have a retirement to spend a great point to the turn of Tony Baseby. Looks like he's going to come back out and uh, qualify for points. So, round they come then. 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones in scintillating form. In second place, looks like John is gone. And then third place, Neil Penfold and Tony Miles. Take the last lap flag, that's 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Ahead of John Hiscock and Shane Lapham. And then a battle going on there. With Neville Penfold copping the worst of that, dropping back to fourth place. Well, the going getting very tough, especially for our four novice riders here this afternoon. I know it's a national and they're all good boys, but... Um, some of our lesser riders. 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones win that one. Ahead of John Iscock and Shane Lapham in second, in second place. Then Neville Penfold and Tony Miles in third. Then 99, Pete Colvin and Paul Baseby. Then Kevin Lane, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby bringing up the rear. So I go to 
50ccs and again 68. Alan Farmer makes the best of the start. Had a quick look there. I didn't see Jonathan Duke, so I don't know whether perhaps he couldn't get that machine going again in time. It certainly wasn't a lot of time between those lines. Alan Farmer breaks down. Alan Farmer's got his hand up. And Martin Jacobs takes the lead. Well, that process for a 50 class quite wide open, doesn't it? A win and an engine failure for Alan Farmer. So, third race still for you this afternoon for you thrown wide open. 114, Martin Jacobs in first place at the moment from 175, Keith Potts in second, then Steve King, David Mears, Doug Norris, Mark Giles. Still got his bottles back wide open. 336, Phil Buckley, and then number 20, Alan Dan. Wiping their number plates clean. 114 then, Martin Jacobs at half distance in the lead. From 175, Keith Potts putting a good consistent second place in there. Then 66, Steve King. Then 139, David Mears. 118, Lee Potter. Then 26, Mark Giles. That bottle's still stuck out. I think they'll do something about that, really. It's a baby ball, it's in every day. Where's that gun now? As Phil Buckley goes to the centre green, but in the lead, 114, Martin Jacobs from 175, Keith Potts holding a good second. Alan Dan is not third, he's at the back of the pack. Then Steve King, he's in third place, number 66, followed by 139, David Mears, 26, Mark Giles, with the throttle still open, and down goes Mark Giles and David Mears. Bad luck there for those two boys, and the red flag goes out, the race being stopped in the interest of safety, but the checkered flag is out anyway. There goes a win for 114, Martin Jacobs. Then 175, Keith Potts in second. Sixty six Steve King gets third. Ignore Alan Dan, he's at the back of the pack. Then 118 Lee Potter. May have been given out as uh, Doug French earlier on, but that's Lee Potter number 118. Did look like 119. Well, bad luck there for David Mears and Mark Giles, who happened to just touch going into that corner. David Mears is up, it looks like he's swearing, so I think he's OK, but... Uh so, they leave the line and go down that first straight. Another very fast start by one, two, three, Dave Penfold. Keith Miles, then it's 126, Martin Cuff, then Richard Edwards, then Ernie Penfold, and uh, not Ernie Penfold, that's Tony Penfold, and Dave Sawyer. Well, even Richard Davis. So, back onto the front line as the track is slowly drying out, so the outfits come closer together. Dave Penfold in the lead at the moment with Keith Miles in the chair, then a battle going on for second and third place as Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards try to come up on the back wheel of Dave Penfold. Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer drift a little bit wide into that turn, hoping to find extra grip on the wider line. Look at as they go now, I'll be up the inside again. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards taking the lead from Dave Penfold. Dave Penfold now fighting back round the outside. These two outfits locked in battle as they were at the Crawley Club earlier in the year, but a very tactical corner there for Martin Cuff, and he takes the lead. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards leading then from Dave Penfold. And Keith Miles. Then Tommy Penfold, Tony Penfold. Dave Penfold now makes it to try and come back on terms with the leader. Round the turn where he lost a lot of ground last time, gaining a lot of ground, coming right up there, but trying to go around the outside. It's not the fastest way around on a circuit like this. You've got to hold a tighter line. Starting the last lap, then it's 126, Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards from 123, Dave Penfold and Keith Miles. That earlier race winner. What's going to happen with those two? Philip and Richard Davis seem to have trouble on the centre green, but look at that battle for second place. Again, Dave Penfold gets the wide line and loses the ground. The checkered flag goes. A very good win there. Tactical win for 126. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. In second place, Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer. In third place, Dave Penfold. And Keith.
Dave Miles, then Billy Penfold and Carly Bell bringing up the rear. Philip and Richard Davis overheating on the centre green. It's 11 to get their wheels on the circuit, but perhaps that was favourite for them really under wet conditions. Track now at its driest part of the afternoon, apart from practice. So, race 11 comes to the line, 500cc solos, we do not have number 157, Mark Swaffer, we do have 971, Dean Norton. As they leave the line and go down towards the first turn, 68, Alan Farmer, already a winner, on the 350 this afternoon, on his way to victory in this one, let's... Jacobs, 121, Alan Harmer, 139, David Mears, 143, Keith Richards, and many, many more. Duncan Torres making the best of the start on his Dueler GM machine. Taking a very tight line around that first turn and gets the motor on early. Stuart Dempsey, number 12, in fourth. So the last turn, all the last time, 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 the last
his tight side, but he looks like he's being challenged very, very fast on the outside. But it's just a win for Duncan Tollers from 154. Adrian Moe there in second place. Then number one, our earlier leader, number one, Malcolm Smith. Then number 12, Stuart Dempsey. Then coming round a few yards adrift, 174, Robin Pilcher. He leaves the line then in race number 13 and they go down the first straight and it's number 24, fast starting. Tommy Penfold that gets there first. Then John Arnott and Russell Steele in second place. Consistent riding in the last few weeks and very consistently riding again here this afternoon. That's John Arnott and Russell Steele from number 24, Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Then Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle, Graham Hilton and Ian Rowan, Duncan Fish and Emma Cray, Mr. Brown and Mr. Perry. And now we're actually getting a little bit further and further apart as the race goes on. Certainly got really into it this season. Russell Steele in the chair. Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers there in second place. And Tony, Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle retired to the outside of the course. Graham Held and Ian Rowan riding very consistently in now for the one step four. Duncan Fish and Emma Cree, then Richard Brown and Chris Berwick. slows down and takes a very tight line and then uh, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree waiting for their moment to pass and there goes the chequered flag that's the first win this afternoon for 251 John Arnold Russell Steele followed closely home by Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers and look at this battle for third place as they come up to the line it's going to be 151 Graham Hilton and Ian Rowan from Duncan Fish and Emma Cree there. In fourth place, then in fifth place, Richard Brown and Chris Berwick. And it's race at number 14 this time. Earlier race winner number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. And we get 27, Brian and Clive Holland. 173, another previous race winner. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. 125, Ernie Penfold now with Justin Spaulding in the chair. Justin Spaulding, his own machine, or rather the machine he was riding with, George Penfold, unable to start. So Justin Spaulding steps on the usual passenger for number 125, Ernie Penfold. 188, Terry Paschal and Luke Paschal. 41, John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler. So, two previous race winners here with Bill Penfold and John Fish. And Ernie Penfold yet to score his first win of the afternoon. So, those riders on the line under starters' orders. And away they go. What's going to happen this time? Very even start. But Ernie Penfold just has the edge as they go into the first turn. John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler are in second. So it's Ernie Penfold and Justin Spaulding out there in front. John Fish and Gary Moore riding in second place, but at the back of the pack, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. So it's Ernie Penfold and Justin Spaulding from John Fish and Gary Moore, then 188, Terry and Luke Patchell, then John O'Donnell. And then Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. So I don't think it's right in the back of that. 
CC solos in and on the line only four runners in this one and away they go even break as they come off that start line and down that first turn we're number 32 Terry Howe in the lead and number 143 Keith Richards there in second spot then Mark Swaffer and Alan Dan interesting tactics for those front two riders as uh, Keith Richards starts to take Richards holding the advantage at the moment. What will happen here? Keith Richards seems to be off that inside line and Terry Howe on it. Terry Howe comes through on the inside, then drifts wide and Keith Richards cuts back, comes up alongside and regains the lead. So that's one, four, three. Keith Richards from 32. Terry Howe from Mark Swaffer and Alan Dan. Keith Richards this time goes wide around that turn and uh, seems to gain even more yards. from the southern centre. Many, many years under his belt. He's calling on that experience to ride this month this afternoon. Month track racing at its best. One, four, three then. Keith Richards from 32. Terry Howe. Terry Howe now trying that dead tight line around the inside while Keith Richards goes around the outside. Will that pay off for Terry Howe? Third place, Mark Swaffer. Fourth place, number 20, Alan Dan. And is really foxed. He's tried inside, outside. He's won, he's lost. He's done all sorts of things. He doesn't know what to do now. Tight line again then for Keith Richards. Sliding right down wide into all this deep stuff. And that slows the bike up. Terry Howe. So, one, four, three, Keith Richards. In the lead from 32, Terry Howe. They just seem to give up and both riding the grass around the outside of the circuit. or rather one lap to go to finish in fourth place. Keith Richards coming around the last turn for the last time and Terry Howe seems to have given up all hope. Well, that was just one ahead of him this time for Keith Richards. Who just won that race in a cloud of smoke. Second place going to Terry Howe. These bikes quite a handful to ride in this wet stuff, being very light and very peaky in power. Third place goes to Mark Swaffer. Fourth place, Alan Dan. Fine. 
Two fifties a game coming to the line and a non-starter this time, number 15, Jay Wicks. Got plenty of talent there. I know a non-starter, 174, Robin Pilcher. Previous race winner, 229, Richie Knight goes in this one. And another previous race winner, 44, Dean Camier, go in this one. And Richie Knight gets the best of the start. Dean Camier falling his way up to second place into that turn. John Dormer in third, going around the outside. Stephen Hines pops up into second place as they come out of that turn. Brilliant first corner there from Stephen Hines. Then Dean Camier in third, then John Dorr in fourth, then Alan Carman in fifth. Then looks like we've lost a rider on the far side. Richie Knight has a look over his shoulder to see where number 23 Stephen Hines is, and he's not too far away, not at a safe distance. Dean Camier there struggling to come on through the field. John Dormer struggling even harder in fourth place. Then Alan Carman bringing up the rear. to have broken down. Bad luck there for Dean Camier, right? Out for his first national win of the afternoon. 23 then. Stephen Hines takes up the running with Richie Knight. Going backwards down the field. Cuts up the inside of John Dorman to take second place again. John Dorman holding on to third. Alan Carman holding on to fourth. Dean Camier gets the machine going again, so points will make prizes and should be in the final here this afternoon. Goes then. 23, Stephen Hines in the lead from 229, Richie Knight in second place, then John Dormer in third. Dean Camier in fifth place after his second retirement. He is one of the quicker men on the circuit this afternoon. Let's hope the sun shines better on him in the final. Here comes the checkered flag then, and that's a win for number 23, Stephen Hines from 229, Richie Knight in second place. John Dorman limps home for third. His brightly coloured overalls covered in mud. Alan Carman gets fourth, Dean Cameo. Rather unpleasant fifth. Again, from the top, before the right-hand side cars, 23, 229, 76, 131 and 44, 1 minute 58, point six five. So, right-hand side cars go in this one, but we have no number 13, John Horsley. His place supposedly taken by 124, George Penfold, who I believe can't start his machine. 39, Shane Baker is out. Him and Clint Clinton Martin not taking part this afternoon. Their place being taken by number two, Neville Penfold and Tony Miles. Tony Miles, then John Hiscock, 
then Shine Lapham, then Stefan Turner, then Tony Bytheswing. Another streak of light in there. Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris bring it up the rear. So the experience really showing of Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. And Pete Colvin coming up the inside there, very tight on the line, but Rob Wilson and Vince Jones got it. Pete Colvin and Paul Baseby second, Dave Steer and Alan Cave third. Very, very close there for fourth place. Or should I say fourth and fifth place. Then Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby bringing up the rear, finding out what mud's all about. And Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris bringing up the rear. 44.63 And away we go then Race number 18, the 500 cc solo boys do battle again and Duncan Tollis and Chris Tritton and Darren Sutton all very tight into that first turn. Somebody else has scorched out the centre of the pack and gone flying into the lead, but I'm not too sure at this stage who that was. Darren Sutton jumped up alongside this place, but Darren Sutton now in the lead. Not too sure, covered all those letters up with those wide overalls, but I can't see who it is in second place. Third place is definitely number 74, Duncan Toller. So it's number 10, Darren Sutton, from 3, Chris Tritton, and the unknown man was 214, John Wilson. Then 74, Duncan Toller, then Paul Mitchell, then Dean Norton. Bad luck there for you, it's definitely so. The battle continues. Look at those three coming round that turn very fast indeed. Number three, Chris Tritton, then getting the better of it. Then 214, John Wilson. Then 74, Duncan Tollis. Then 10, Darren Sutton. Then number 29, Paul Mitchell. And 971, Dean Norton. Number 30, Joe Coming very fast around that turn, nice tight line, number three, Chris Tritton, line right now, boy, it won four, John Wilson, then 74, Duncan Tollis in third, then Darren Sutton now in fourth place. Very tricky to pick a good line around that turn. So round the turn they come and the yellow flags are out. Checkered flag goes for number three. Chris Tritton from 214, John Wilson from 74, Duncan Tyers. Then number 10, Darren Sutton. Right, John Hiscock, number Smith, 22, Ian Aramini and Rowan, 25, Pete Watkins and Lee Packham, 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, 38, Steve Bassett, and I've forgotten, 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock, 151, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall, 88, Bob Baxter, and I another. And of course, riding with Steve Bassett is Kev Bovis. How could one forget Kev Bovis? So those right-hand side cars go to the line to do battle in race number 19. Well, if we've got a quick few moments, Alan Harmer, number 121 in the pits. Alan Harmer, number 121, solo, 500 in the pits. Was it wishes to sell a Godden Max engine with box and carburetor, etc. Godden Max engine with box, carburetor, etc. Must be a gearbox or is that a magic box? Your guess is as good as mine. 500 pounds. Alan Harmer, number 121 in the pits. A Godden Max engine with box, carb, etc. Must be the magic box. £500 only. See Alan Harmer in the pits this afternoon. Number 121. <laughs> Thank you. 
Race number 19 on the line then. Tim Bennett, Ian Aaron, Pete Watkins, Kevin Simmons, Jerry Adams, Steve Bassett, Mick Cameron, Bob Baxter. That's the lineup of drivers in race number 19. Down the first straight they go, and Tim Bennett certainly got the best of that start. He's on his way to the first turn. And Cameron and Paul Randall don't battle around the outside and make a faster entrance to that turn. Showing their experience in these wet and slippery conditions, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall from... Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock, then Tim Bennett and Adam Cobra Smith catching an eyeful of that mud. Then Ian Aram and Ian Rowan in third, fourth rather. Moving up to third past Tim Bennett. Tim Bennett appears to have stopped on the outside of that turn. So Tim Bennett and Adam Cobra Smith in problems. Pete Watkins and the pack up there. Round at the back of the pack. So, one by one then, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall flat out on the Godden. Those Godden V twins certainly finding more grip than the Maltese this afternoon. Then 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. Then Ian Arrow and Ian Rowan. And that's the way they go in race number 19. The machine's spinning this afternoon, not finding the grip. We had two heat waves coming, but the multi went very well, but the Godden V-Twin fights back this afternoon. 151, Nick Cameron and Paul Randall on a V-Twin. From Jerry Adams and Sean Pinnock on another V-Twin. N22, Ian Arrow and Ian Rowan with another V-Twin. And yet another V-Twin. I think that's uh, Kevin Simmons. So the checkered flag goes once again, the second win of the afternoon for 151, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall. Second place going to Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. Third place going to number 22, Ian Aram and Ian Rowan. Then 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. And what looked like 38, Steve Bassett bringing up the rear. Steve Bassett and Kev Bovis bringing up the rear. The official result of race number 19, a win for number 151, Mick Cameron. And Paul Randall. In second place, 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. In third place, 22, Ian Aram and Ian Rowan. In fourth place, number 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane. In fifth place, number 38, Richard, uh, Steve Bassett and Kev Bovis. No other finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 45.88. From the top, 151, 55, 22, 32, 38. 1 minute 45.88. Back to the solos. We're in that start in Marshall Out, going from one side to the other. 175, Keith Potts leads, 25, Jonathan Duke there in second place, and then the smoking Alan Farmer in third. So you may remember that uh, Alan Farmer had a bit of a breakdown, and uh, Jonathan Duke had a breakdown and an appearance. So 350 class being thrown wide open, wide open this afternoon. A consistent riding is what it's all about. 25 then, Jonathan Duke, keeping the rest at bay. 175, Keith Potts there in second. 168, uh, Alan Farmer goes from third up to second place. As Keith Potts tears off his goals and lose two places in the process. Nice Jacobson up to third. He had a win there earlier on. All action has suddenly come out to 39. Just need a scraper to get the mud off the top and we'll be in for some real, real action. 25, Jonathan Duke. 68, Alan Farmer. Martin Jacobs and Keith Potts fighting out side by side. Then Lee Potter. Then Steve King. Then 139. And eight years. Round they come then the last flat flag. It's 25, Jonathan Duke from 68, Alan Farmer. From Martin Jacobs. From Keith Potts, from Steve King, from David Mears, Steve Potter. So 
Joe, the last turn for the last time. The checkered flag goes. A win for number 25, Jonathan Duke from 68, Alan Palmer. The goal 336, Bill Buckley, is the back of the rear. The last for Jacobs. M175, Keith Potts. 66, Steve King. 139, David Mears. One one eight, Lee Potter. And away they go down the first straight, and the first man off the line this time. One two five, Ernie Penfold and Justin Spalding, followed by forty one, John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler, making another fast start. Then Dave Penfold. And Keith Miles in third spot. Ben, Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer in fourth. But Ernie Penfold already pulling away from the rest of the field. Track now drawing out very fast indeed. You can see it's not throwing as much mud out of the back as they were. They're really coming round the wrong four song. It's one, two, five. Ernie Penfold and Justin Spalding. Clear off 41, John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler holding a very good second at the moment from Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer. Then 23, Billy Penfold and Carly Bell. 151, Brian Bell, Billy and Ryan. 174, Duncan Fisher and Emma Cream. We've lost Dave Penfold. Yes, Dave Penfold on the next three there with trouble. Desperate bad luck for young Dave. Going so well on his earlier rides. Ernie Penfold and Justin Spalding then on the Golden V Twin. Clear of 41, <laughs> pulling wheelers as they go over the finish line there. John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler. And Tommy Penfold. Sorry, Tony Penfold. And Dave Sawyer. That's long gone. Well ahead of the rest of the field. On the Golden V Twin, 1 2 5. Ernie Penfold and Justin Spalding start their last lap. Well clear of the rest of the field. John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler holding a very good second at the moment. Tony Penfold, Carly Bell holding a nice third. We've lost Tony Penfold and Dave Sawyer down there on the start. So, 151, Graham Hilton, Ian Rowan gain another place. And 2, 174, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. There goes the checkered flag. A win for 125, Ernie Penfold and Justin Spalding. Second place. A well-deserved second spot to number 41, John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler. 23, Billy Penfold and Carly Bell take third spot. Graham Hilton, Ernie and Rowan take fourth. Fifth spot going to 174, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. Dave Penfold. And Keith Miles pushing home for points. John O'Donnell and Andrew Butler in third place, 23, Billy Penfold and Carly Bell. In fourth place, 151, Graham Hilton and Ian Rowan. In fifth place, 174, Duncan Fish and Emma Cree. And in sixth place, pushing home, 123, Dave Penfold and Keith Miles. The winner's time, 1 minute 55.13. From the top, 125, 41, 23, 151, 174, 123. Winners time, 1 minute 55, point 13, and away goes race number 22. Well, a very even start there in 251, John Arnott and Russell Steele get to the first turn first. As I said earlier, been putting in some consistent rides in recent weeks, really on form. John Arnott. Take him on the inside. John Fisher is the lead. John are not relegated to second position at the moment. Fighting with that throttle to get back on terms. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. 2251, John Arnott and Russell Steele. 24, Tommy Penfold and Liam Shivers. Ray Tullett and Tony Doyle following them and then bringing up the rear. Well, very, very furious on that front line, but it's still number 173, John Fish and Gary Moore, the 1988 British champions, leading the pack. 251, John Arnott and Russell Steele putting in a very consistent second place at the moment then. Tommy Penfold and Liam Shivers. And we 
seem to have lost Ray Cullet and Tony Doyle down there on the star. One of those days when it all seems to happen. The last lap flag goes. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Take that check, take that last lap flag. One lap from victory with Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers now in second place. And John Arnott and Russell Steele broke down on that pit's turn. 38, Richard Brown. Now holding third place. John Arnott's decided to try and push home, but with all that fun to push as well, it does make the going very, very heavy. Coming up then to take the checkered flag, it's 173, John Fish and Gary Moore from number 24. Tommy Penfold and Liam Chivers. Richard Brown and Chris Berry get in third spot. John Arnott and Russell Steele fighting with the machine. Will they or won't they push it home? Winner's time, 1 minute 58.83, 250cc solos away again, and it's 229 Richie Knight that leads the pack. 44, Dean Camier there in second place. John Dormer, I can see there in fourth. Who quite that was in third? Stephen Hines there in third. So as they chase after Richie Knight, Stephen Hines goes back down to third place in the hands of Stephen Hines. Stephen Hines, a very consistent rider in the 250cc class, coming down from the Eastern Centre. I believe he actually lives in Suffolk. 229, Richie Knight then leads the field. Dean Camier goes to the inside line on Stephen Hines, but doesn't quite get there, so it's still Richie Knight, Stephen Hines, Dean Camier, John Dorma. John Dorma certainly not in these weather conditions. Round the third they come then, very fast indeed, winding their machines up. 229, Richie Knight on the Suzuki, hits Stephen Hines on the Yamaha, and Dean Camier, and John Dorma. And another earlier race winner, number 143, Keith Richards. And 1557 Mark Swapper, bringing up the rear. So, Richie Knight getting all excited now as he takes the last lap flag and pulling a bigger distance ahead of Stephen Hines in second place. And Dick in third place. And John Dormer in fourth place. Swapper in six, but Richie Knight starts to mix it with the tail enders. Checkered flag goes, a win for 229, Richie Knight. From 23, Stephen Hines, then 44, Dean Camion. And 76, Tom Dorman. And 143, Keith Richards. And 157, if he comes round again, Mark Swapper. Could stand corrected, but number 13 certainly John Halsey, the driver. The 250 solos again, only a three man race this time. At 32, Terry Howe scorches off to the lead. 131, Alan Carmen in second place, and 20, Alan Van there in third. So, look at those first two going around there side by side. Alan Carmen takes the lead. Bit of fine stuff there to take the lead in this one. Obviously, desperate for a win here this afternoon. These are only the heats, it's the final that counts. Alan Carman though, on his way, surely, to that final. Alan Carman then, Terry Howe, and Alan Dan. We see now that the track's certainly drying out, especially on the inner, inner line, so... That's the inside line, it could be the one to go. And along the straight, at half distance, we have 131, Alan Carman from 32, Terry Howe. And then number 20, Alan Dan. This time we have the last lap flag. Very fast and very slippery and slidey all over the place, but still in control. One, three, one. 
Alan Carman makes the last lap flag from 32. Terry Howe having a cruise round in an easy second spot. Alan Dan consistently scoring the points this afternoon. Number 20 in third spot. So as I look to my left, I can see coming around that turn, fast and furious once again. Arms and legs everywhere. One three one. Alan Harmon win. Uh, from 32, Terry Howe in second place. And Alan Carmen, then Terry Howe. And half a lap in arrears at the moment. Number 20, Alan Dan. So the outfits come to line to do battle again. Race 25 in your program. Only three outfits remaining and away they go. On, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw go straight into the lead with 126. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards in second. Then Terry and Luke Patchell in third. Number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw then commanding the lead in this one. From 126, Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards in second, then Terry and Luke Patchell. Very fast in third place. Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw then from. Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards in second. Penfold and Nigel Shaw stamping a bit of authority in this one. Had a bit of a bad ride in their last leg and uh, certainly aim to do better in this one. Consistent point scoring is what it's all about. And two rounds and some qualifying. You must be consistent all the way through. Last lap flag goes for number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. Then Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards in second, and Terry and Luke Patchell, the defending champions, in third place at the moment. Track's certainly drying out, and you can see that inside line starting to pay off. A win for Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw from Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards in second place. Then 188, Terry and Luke Patchell take in third. Game are starting Marshall moves from one side of the course to the other. This one, number 12, Tim Bennett, Adam Cobra Smith, 17, Dave Steer and Alan Cave, 22, Ian Aram and Ian Rowan, 25, Peter Watkins and Lee Packham, 32, Kevin Simmons and Peter Lane, 38, Steve Bassett and Kev Bovis, uh, not number 39, Sean. Well, something tells me that Pete Watkins might not be out in this race. Don't know quite what it is, but uh, <laughs> as he's standing there looking at me eating burgers, I don't think he's going to be competing in this one. So a slightly lesser lineup in race number 26. Not lesser in talent, only lesser in number. Yeah. 
Armstrong and Shane Lapham that have got there first from the southern centre. 184, John Hiscock it is that leads from what, 17, Dave Steer and Alan Cave, then Neville Penfold and Tony Miles. Solos, and I believe non-starter number 86, Paul Hurry. Haven't seen him this afternoon so far, so I believe he's a non-starter. We do have a lot of starters in it though, and 215, Steve Wilson, the fastest of them at the moment, but Alan Farmer goes up the inside very, very fast on that corner. You can see now the track's certainly drying out. Alan Farmer gets the better of it over that turn. Then Alan Farmer, no mud on his front number plate, he must have been in front all afternoon. Then 215, Steve Wilson, then 04, Ricky Sanford, then 154, Adrian Mower, then number one, Malcolm Smith. After trial that left leg, really going for gold this afternoon, he's got the bit between his feet. In second place, 215, Steve Wilson, 04, Ricky Sanford, 154, Adrian Mower, number one, Malcolm Smith. Last lap flag goes in a 68, Alan Farmer on the inside, 215, Steve Wilson, as it dries out, going faster and faster, tries to go around the outside of Alan Farmer, but those two are fighting out to the finish. On the last turn, for the last time, looking to my left, 68, Alan Farmer is the win, 215, Steve Wilson there in second place. Somebody got trouble starting, I'm afraid the old uh, eyeballs don't quite tell me who it is from this distance. Pete Colvin and the last man to come to the line. It's all these overalls, they keep confusing me. And away they go then, an uh, even start. Tom McCamera, Paul Randall in second place. Paul drifting out of the turn. 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones from 151. McCamera and Paul Randall, then Sean Pittock. And, sorry, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. I keep putting them drivers and passengers around the wrong way. Look at McCamera go past Rob Wilson there like he was standing still. Very fast out of that pit turn indeed, McCamera. Certainly stamping his authority in this weather meeting. Experience really beginning to count. So, 151, Mick Cameron and Paul Randall from Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. Then 55, Jerry Adams and Sean Pittock. Then 99, 
Pete Colvin and Paul Baseby, then 37, Matthew Lewin and Doug Norris, then 82, Stefan Turner and Tony Baseby. Sean Pittock, then Peter Colvin, and Paul Baseby, then Matthew Lewin, and Doug Norris. A retirement to the centre green by Stephen Turner and Tony Baseby. So around that last turn, for the last time, the jacket flag goes. A win for number 151, Mick Cameron, and Paul Randall. In second place, 24, Rob Wilson and Vince Jones. In third place, Pete Colvin and Paul Baseby. And relegated to fourth position there. So they leave the line in race number 29, four riders only. And it's Duncan Tollis and Alan Farmer to go down to that first turn first. Alan Farmer gets that just slight advantage into that turn. Duncan Tollis now holding second place. Looks like Ricky Sanford on the outside. In third. So Alan Farmer loses his left leg but squirts the throttle on. Holds first place from 74, Duncan Tollis in second. Then it's 214, John Wilson. Then it's 04, Ricky Sanford. Alan Farmer, 74, Duncan Tollis, 04, Ricky Sanford, and 214, John Wilson. That's the way they come around that turn. 68, 04, 78, and 214. So Ricky Sanford takes that second place from Duncan Tollis. then. Alan Farmer, nice tight line, takes the last lap flag from 04, Ricky Sanford there in second place. Then 74, Duncan Tollest in third. Then 214, John Wilson in fourth. Round they come then. 68, Alan Farmer wins from 04, Ricky Sanford in second place. Then 78, Duncan Tollest in third. John Wilson, number 214. So the last qualifying race of the afternoon, race number 30, 500cc solos goes underway. See that bright green helmet of number 10, Darren Sutton there? In the front line, but it's number 215, Steve Wilson that leads. From Darren Sutton in second place. In the final race of the afternoon. Flat out around that turn and here they come. 215, Steve Wilson. From number 10, Darren Sutton. From number 3, Chris Tritton. Number 12, Stuart Dempsey goes to the centre green. And number 1, Malcolm Smith brings up the rear. Two one five. Steve Wilson got the bit between his teeth in this one. And half distance ahead of number 3, Chris Tritton in second spot. Then number 10, Darren Sutton in third. Melbourne Smith there in fourth place. Well, he's missed the last minute of that here. And, uh, all thanks to a big downpour of rain. There goes the last lap flag. It's 215. Steve Wilson from number three. Chris Tritton. Number ten, Darren Sutton. Getting a bit of a wobbler on and it looks like the bike has stopped or has it? Steve Wilson in trouble. Steve Wilson stops. Number three. Chris Tritton wins. 
Darren Sutton gets second place. Steaming there a bit, isn't it? It's a long, hard push home for number 215, Steve Wilson. Round comes number one, Malcolm Smith. Mr. Wilson, don't push that motorbike, he's got to do it in his own. Put a few words into him if you like, have him on his way. For this one, 125, 173, 126, 2, 251, 24, and 188. To do battle in this afternoon's left hand sidecar final. starters orders and they're away. A nice even break as they go down to the first turn and Ernie Penfold's out with trouble already. Ernie Penfold then, they've the got the start his machine, certainly got the start in the race and heads on in the lead. Ernie Penfold out with problems on the start line. We're told this is a six lap final, but we thought the last one was. But anyway, round they come. It's Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw from John Fish and Gary Moore, from John Arnott and Russell Steele, then Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards, and the reigning British champions, 188, Luke Patchell and Terry Sorry, Terry. John Arnott and Paul Steele gain and leaves the course and goes to the centre green with problems. Unlike John Arnott, he's had a good season this season, but Gremlin struck today. Number two then, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw on their way to victory. 173, John Fish and Gary Moore in second place. Then Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. Then Terry and Luke Patchell. Then he's trying to the John Fish and Gary Moore. So round the pit turn they come, the checkered flag is out, that was the last turn for the last time and it's a good win there for number two, Bill Penfold and Nigel Shaw. In second place, 173, John Fish and Gary Moore. Then 126, Martin Cuff and Richard Edwards. Then 24, Tommy Penfold, Liam Chivers. 188, Terry and Luke Patchell. 125, Bernie Penfold. And Justin Spaulding. Well, all those riders have come back to the line. Starters orders that are away. A fair start, they're off down to the first turn. 175, Keith Potts leads from 114, Martin Jacobs in 25, Jonathan Duke. And Alan Farmer certainly didn't get the best of starts in that one. He's well there on the field at the moment. So 
Assistance would be very, very much appreciated in dissembling the track.